So it seems that you rattled their cage. You pissed off the simulation somehow. You, um, and here's the thing is you don't have to necessarily have been saying the same stuff that most people that are waking up talk about. It could have been something as simple as dating the daughter of a Freemason and breaking her heart. It could have been anything. And next thing you know, you're tagged and gang stalked by the simulation. The simulation will use every wrong thing. They will make sure that Murphy's Law becomes not just a law that you've heard of, but a law of your life. And the best way to do it, and this is crazy, just ignore them. You wait until they make a move to you to say something. And, eventually, they stick out and do it. Here goes what happened to me yesterday. I was shopping, uh, and it was at a place where you put a quarter in for the carriage. And I'm shopping, and a gentleman with a, a multicolored uh, yarmulke on his head purposely bumped his carriage into me. But he was dressed up, you know, like every other average Joe in the area. So, he bumps his carriage into me, and he's and he's chattering his, his teeth. The chatter teeths were starting just before the pandemic. That's why they made sure that the draconian law of covering your face in most of the heavily populated areas... So a lot of them still, you know, you walk in there and once in a blue moon, you look around and everybody's wearing a mask and they think, oh, I got to wear one too. So it, it, it's like they do these experiments, worldwide experiments. <laughs> and they, they basically uh, made sure that they can cover up their chatter teeth. You ever see the movie Mars Attacks? Their teeth chatter whenever you're pushing off like a very high vibe. And that's when they're trying to feed. A lot of them are run around, desperate. They are uh, they are what's called the NPC. They are desperate to feed off of your ne uh, negative energy, so they'll harvest it. They will guise themselves or take over the old lady and make her drive the wrong way out of a parking lot, almost hitting you. You're laying on the horn pissed off, and she's just... All right. Now, if they use drugs and they're in the south, it goes like this. All right. Remember that. That's part of possession. It's part of a. Uh, it's part of a stimulation that happens while they're possessed, when they're feeding, when they are feeding negative energy off of you, when uh, the wrong event happens to you right in front of them and they could laugh it to themselves or they don't like you they despise you and yes a lot of these are very organized you know the gang stalking is literally a paid for program by the CIA FBI you name it this is funded and literally the weakest souls sign up to do it and I mean, it's those people that should have been punched in the face sometime in their life. And they don't understand what the concept of respect is. And they've never truly been punched in the face. Those are the kind of people that will gang stalk. It's, f it's fucked up. So that guy bumps into me again outside, but not literally physically. He goes to get my carriage from me. I'll take this. And I go, no, I got it. I'll take care of it. And he goes, just a fucking quarter. And I'm like, excuse me? And he goes, yeah, it's just a fucking quarter. I said, you know what? You don't know me. I'd knock you out or I'd fucking kill you for something less than a quarter. And he goes, oh, you're going you're gonna to kill me? You're going to kill me? He's like acting. And I go, no, no, no. I told you I would fucking kill you for anything less than a quarter. Go ahead. Call a cop, get a cop over here, and look like a little liberal bitch to a cop around here. And see how far that gets you, buddy. And then he's like... <laughs> and he puts this evil sneer, and he goes, 
I know the cops. I'm just as cool with them. And I'm in that club that you like to talk a lot of shit about online.